For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Hi guys. I've had a couple of dreams recently. I didn't feel compelled to make any videos about them because I was sort of waiting on confirmation this time. One of those dreams has been confirmed today and I wanted to share it with you. It is something of a very urgent matter and if you would please share this video with every YouTube channel out there. Just help me spread the word. I would greatly appreciate it. Anywho, on August 24th I had a dream. In this dream I saw YouTube some of the videos were being taken down for quote unquote copyright infringement. At least that's what it seemed that they were telling people. I believe YouTube will be taking down videos and reviewing accounts. People will go to their YouTube pages and will wonder where their videos went. They will just seemingly begin to disappear. Most of the videos that will be taken down will be those with Christian content. Now as I said, I didn't make a video for this until now because I was waiting on confirmation. Today, Paul Begley put out a video saying that Obama has given the internet over to the UN and starting September 30th, the UN will be taking control of the World Wide Web. I don't know where his source is coming from, but it sounds to me that this would be the reason for YouTube censoring content and channels. As Paul Begley said, when the UN takes over, there will be no more Christian websites or videos out there. There will be no more websites or videos that deal in alternative news media, such as Alex Jones, Freedom Fighter, Lisa Haven, Paul Begley, and the many other websites and channels like these. Those of us who share prophetic dreams and word from the Lord will no longer be able to share with others via the Internet. Personally, I see this as a tactic to push people off of the Internet and onto the streets so that they can arrest those who speak against the New World Order system. I've been reading the book of Acts over the last few days, and I can see the persecution that was happening back then coming upon the world today and in the, new, and in the near future. The New World Order is rising soon. They will be shutting down websites and video channels, then they'll probably close the churches, then they'll take away our Bibles. They've already taken away our right to speak the Word of God publicly outside of the church walls. If the rapture doesn't happen soon, the body of Christ will have to assemble in secret. We will have to build underground churches so that we can t continue to worship the Lord and keep each other encouraged. This will be a reality for those left behind after the rapture. What I am telling you is not fear porn. It is a warning. My brothers and sisters, I encourage you to continue on in strength, in faith, and in endurance until the Lord comes. Prepare yourselves. I love you all. Shalom. God bless everybody. And that is what's exactly happening to a lot of YouTubers now. Um, I'm seeing that. Um, not only with my channel, as soon as we put the link up, y'all, as soon as we put the link up, they were already ready. And how did they take my video down that fast? You know, you see what I'm saying? That's why I'm, I'm telling you guys, Jesus is coming. He is coming. You see, and, and in the minute, you guys, there's not there's not going to be any preaching on YouTube. You understand me? The, the persecution have started. So I've I've left a link in the description box to my other channel. The um, I, I appealed this um, strike. And guess what? The appeal failed, you guys. The appeal failed. Um, Brother Mike, man of God, the live stream um, would not be able to to go up for another three months, you guys. But I count this as victory. I count it as victory for the Lord because Satan is not going to stop us. He, I am going to continue to preach on bro, Mike, son of a king. I'm going to continue to stay on the front line for the Lord. Peter went to jail, persecuted. Paul went to jail, persecuted. Our Lord was even arrested and put in jail. Amen. And who am I? 
uh, nothing but a servant and I'm following in the same footsteps as my beloved brother and as my beloved king. We're going to get persecuted. We're going to get we're going to we're going to suffer. Jesus said those days. He said those that suffer, let them suffer as a Christian. And those that suffer are me are blessed. Those that suffer for Christ is blessed. So there's a link in the description box. I want y'all to click on that link. And I want y'all to subscribe to Bro Mike, Son of a King. Service will resume this Thursday. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to be preaching twice a week. I'm still waiting for confirmation from the Lord Jesus Christ. But I just talked to one of the prophets of the Lord. And she said to keep going. That Satan is mad. And I will continue to keep going. I've talked to my brothers and sisters in Christ. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you, all of you guys that's praying. And we will continue to lift the name of Jesus Christ up. We will continue to do that. And I encourage everybody to please accept Jesus Christ. Turn away from sin. Because in a moment, YouTube can be down. People don't have dreams like this. One has come before destruction, as you've seen in this video. As a sister in Christ was shown a visit, a, 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 a vision. Per persecution is coming, y'all. We have to be ready. We have to be ready. So um, please continue to support me. Please continue to support all the people that's preaching the word of God and standing on the wall for the Lord. And because it's not easy, um, Satan wanted me to give up. But I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep pressing forward because I know the Lord is leading me to. May the Lord Jesus Christ be with us all in these final moments. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for your prayers. I love you guys and I'm praying for you too. Come Lord Jesus, come.